Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Oh hello my little kittens. I'm excited about today's video because I get to talk about one of my favorite brands in the whole entire world, Lethal Cosmetics. They recently released a one up collection. I know. Am I inspiration? Probably. No, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe I am. This collection consists of one 12 pan palette and six Lumen lip glosses. Now this collection was sent to me in PR and I do have a code with the brand. If you're ever interested in wanting to check out Lethal Cosmetics, use the code garbage. And I believe you can save 10% off your order. Now this code, while yes, it's my code, it's not affiliated. I don't make any money off of it. It's just for y'all to use. That said, while this was sent to me in PR and the fact that they are my favorite brand, I will still be critical because I love giving unconstructive criticism. <laughs> no, no, no. I give constructive. I give constructive. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's start with the palette first. One Up palette retails for $38. Inspired by the arcades of the 1980s, this palette features three UV reactive neon mattes, three classic mattes, three trichrome metallics, and three duochrome metallics. I love the shit out of this palette. It's so cute, it's so well done, and it gives me all the nostalgic feelings that I had when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s and going to arcades. I think what's really cool about this particular packaging is the lenticular image that shows you the title screen as well as the high scores. I think that's such a beautiful touch. And this is something new for the brand in regards to packaging. Well, yes, she is a big beefy bitch. She's very thin. It's actually really easy to store. But it's one of those palettes that just looks nice on your vanity and you can not really stand it up. You could kind of stand it up. It's a little bit tilted. But in any case, this would look really beautiful on anybody's vanity. When you do open her up, it gives me the background of every elementary school picture I have ever taken. Taken. You get a lovely quality size mirror and your 12 pan color story, which is split between player one and player two. What I love about the layout is that it's two different color stories, but in that same breath, they easily pair with each other, making the number of looks increase by tenfold. Let's break it down by shade and we're going to start with player one first, starting with insert coin. Insert coin is a neon lemon yellow matte. So yes, this shade does work under black light, making haunted houses and sex parties fun. I find that neon shades are usually traditionally very difficult to make. They're often very patchy, not very pigmented, or requires you to build up the product so much to show any sort of opacity. I'm so happy to say that this bright yellow neon matte is very, very pretty. It's bright, it's fun. I didn't have any issues with patchiness or building it up. I think it pairs very, very well with the next shade. 8-Bit is also another UV neon matte. This shade packs a punch. It's so much fun. It's super bright. And again, it pairs perfectly with insert coin to kind of give you that like lemon lime sprite moment. The next shade is Power Up and it's a deep teal matte. This one's so good. It's classic lethal, meaning it's incredibly rich with pigment. This shade not only works great in the outer corner, but it's also a beautiful lash line shade as well. This is one of the shades that's gonna give your look a lot of dimension. Now moving on to the bottom row, the first shade is split screen, and this is a trichrome metallic shade. So one, this shade is incredibly sparkly, like sparkly, 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 sparkly. It has a lot of glitter bukkake to it, but I mean that in the best way possible. Yes, she's a little messy, but she's a lot of fun. So it's one of those shades if you want to avoid fallout it's best to do your base after your eye look now this technically shifts from yellow to green to red I did not see the shift whatsoever so for me I kind of feel like this is more of a duochrome shade like I can definitely see the yellow to green moment but the red I'm just not picking up I don't know if it's because of my lighting or what but I just don't see any red in the shade but if it's just a duochrome I think it's absolutely stunning the next shade is Final Boss, and this one is another trichrome metallic shade that's supposed to shift from green, blue to pink. Again, if I compare it to Split Screen, I feel like the shift is a little bit more noticeable in this shade than that shade, but it's very, very subtle when you compare it to their recent multi-chrome release, which, by the way, is one of the most fucking amazing shadows I've ever put on my face this year. I love their new batch of multi-chromes. I think that's where I was like, oh. I wanted that magic because those multi-chromes, like they pack a fucking punch, they're pigmented, they're beautiful, they're stunning, you see the shift so clearly. And I wanted that same kind of effect for this one, but I didn't get it. So if you want something bolder, I say stick with the multi-chromes. So I would say that these shades are kind of more in line with duochromes, except if you pair it with the right color or the right lighting. So for example, Final Boss, 
gloss really pairs well with combo, which is in the player two side. When I add a pink to the situation, I can see a little bit of that pink shift. So it does add a little extra magic, but sometimes I just want things that I don't have to think about pairing with specific things. And that's why I think I like the multi-chromes more is that it just gives me instant payoff, instant satisfaction. And this one, it's like, it's pretty, but if I don't do the right combination, I'm not gonna see the shadow for what it is. But with that said, this is very beautiful all over the lid shade. Now the last shade in player one is Avatar and it's an emerald green duochrome. This shade has a mixture of like light green with some pink to it. Hands down, one of my favorite shades in the whole palette. Green and pink just work so beautifully together. And this is the standard lethal duochrome formula. It's stunning, it's sparkly, it's fucking everything. So moving on to player two, we're gonna start with Hit Point. Hit Point is a deep matte indigo blue. Again, very much in the same vein as Power Up and the other shade that's like the deepest in the palette. Again, it provides beautiful dimension, not only in the outer corner, but the lash line as well. Joystick is a violet matte shade. I fucking love this shade. Purples are traditionally very difficult to make. This is absolutely stunning. It's bright, it's fun, and it pairs so well with the next shade, Combo. Now, Combo is gonna be the last UV shade in the whole palette. This bubblegum pink is so bright, it's so pigmented. And for me, my favorite combination of the two is actually Joystick and Combo. There's something beautiful about a purple pink moment. And I'm happy to say, while this UV shade is incredibly bright, it doesn't stain my skin. I have a lot of eye sensitivity, so I'm very, very happy that this didn't stain my skin. It didn't give me that, that horrible somebody shit on my pillowcase look. Love that. Moving on to high score, bitch, 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 okay? This metallic duochrome is fucking everything. It's a mixture of green and blue. It's the motherfucking moment. It's what I have in my eyes today. I'm just obsessed. I'm in love with it. I love that I look like a tropical fish. I am just like so excited about it. <laughs> Moving on to the shade bonus. This is the last trichrome shade in the palette. And this shifts from mauve to blue to green. This shade is absolutely beautiful all over the lid. It's just so soft and perfect and lovely and so celestial. And you can see the shift of this one a little bit more clearly than the other two shadows in this formula. But again, it's very, very subtle, but it's so fucking pretty. It makes also for a beautiful inner corner highlight. And then we have the last shade, which is game over. And this is a pink to gold duochrome. This is beautiful. This is so bright. It's so sparkly. It pairs very, very well with bonus. It looks beautiful all over the lid, but it also makes for a killer, killer inner corner highlight. I'm happy that I didn't experience any difficulty with this palette. I didn't experience any patchiness, premature fading, or any other bullshit. The matte shades fall very, very much in line with other mattes from this brand. They're a little powdery, yes, but they're pigmented, they're easy to blend, and they have great fucking longevity. That is the one thing that I will always say is very consistent with Lethal is that that shit will stay on for more than 12 hours and still look perfect. Everything from their mattes to their multi-chromes. The longevity, I don't know what they do. I don't know what kind of black magic they do. They need to keep doing it though because the longevity is perfect. And in these hot motherfucking days in this swamp, that is what I need, okay? I don't need something balding or fading. Like for example, I had Viseart on the other day. Like within two hours, it was just like nothing. It's like I didn't even have eyeshadow shadow on. And so while the rest of my base is melting, if I know I have lethal on, those motherfuckers are here to stay. And that's what I love about this brand. Consistency. Now going back to the matte formula, they're the kind of mattes where you can create a very beautiful gradient within the shades. And none of them are going to be overpowering each other. They all work so well together. As for the UV mattes, which are something new for the brand, these are fucking awesome. I was surprised because I thought Insert Coin was going to be the one where I was like, ooh, yellow, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. That one's not gonna be so pigmented. I'm gonna have to build that one up. And I didn't. They're all pretty fucking accurate to pan. And for being UV shades and me having eye sensitivity, didn't have any issues whatsoever. They didn't bother my eyes, they didn't stain my lids. They're fucking perfect. So if you do suffer from eye sensitivity, definitely look into Lethal. I never had an issue with these shadows. I love the mattes. All the mattes in this palette are fantastic. Now moving on to the duochromes, they're perfect. I love Lethal's duochromes, they're so fun. They're beautiful, they're sparkly as fuck. And if you're familiar with that formula, rest assured these are the same. They are super sparkly though, okay? So they can create unnecessary glitter bukkake. And that's probably my only, I guess, kind of complaint that I have is that I always have to do my eye makeup first before I can do my base. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a row of glitter that's a little bit difficult to clean up after you have your base set down. But honestly, I could look past Tinkerbell shitting all over my face because I love how sparkly these shifts are. And even with the glitter being glitter bukkake esque it doesn't irritate my eyes whatsoever. And I love the duochromes in particular because the shifts are so evident. They apply well with glitter glue or any sort of sticky adhesive or saturated 
brush with water. They don't crack, they don't fade. If used with other shimmers, they blend so beautifully together. You don't have to experience any weird texture. And again, nothing gets lost. Everything stands on its own. But most importantly, the longevity is fantastic. You do not have to worry about them fading midday. These little bitches are here to stay. Lastly, we have three trichromes in this palette. Now this type of formula was initially released in the Velvet Dusk palette, and honestly it was a little challenging to see the shift in that palette. I love that palette. I believe there are two shades in that palette. I just kind of was like, hmm, like they're kind of a duochrome for me. I'm like, hmm, I can't see the difference. I kind of still feel the same about this formula, except two out of the three I feel like, okay, I could definitely see the shift. Split Screen was the only one that was like, no, this is a duochrome. And as much as the other two do a little something extra when paired with like the right kind of shade to bring out that extra color, it still kind of falls in line with a duochrome for me. They're sparkly, they're very easy to apply with glitter glue or a saturated brush or any sort of glitter adhesive or water really. They're long lasting. Again, kind of like the duochromes, there is some fallout to them. So again, best to do your base last. They're bright and they're shiny and they're fun. But for me, they feel more in line with the duochrome. I absolutely love this color story. Everything works so well together. And what I love about this palette is that while, yes, it's limited to mostly bright, fun colors, to me, I don't find this to be a companion piece. You could definitely make this a standalone palette for sure. There is a lot of variety here. And the number of looks I feel like I can create are endless. Ever since receiving this palette, I have not fucking put it down. I can't put it down. It's impossible. It's so much fun. And as soon as I complete my look, I look forward to the next time that I use this palette. And if this wasn't sent to me in PR, I definitely would have picked this up and I would still be loving the shit out of it. I think I'm gonna see a base basic ass bitchery that listen, don't get me wrong, I fucking love. This is a nice change of pace. It's not a rainbow palette. It's a beautiful curated palette that best represents my childhood spent in the arcade, as well as taking horrible elementary school pictures. This is perfect, I fucking love it. It's so good. Last but not least, Lethal also released these Lumen Glosses. These babies retail for $11 a piece. Plump lips and monumental shine without the stickiness. Our refined lip gloss gives you the best of all worlds. Now I have some of the Lumen lip glosses from the past and to be honest, they're just okay. They're not great, they're not bad, they're kind of just in the middle. And for me, they're kind of a forgettable product from Lethal. I hate to say it, but they kind of are, like I just don't think about them. So I was excited to try this like revamped formula. These particular glosses do have a clear base and five out of the six have a sparkle to them. They're all bubblegum scented, have an incredible amount of shine, are weightless, and most importantly, they are not motherfucking sticky. They look great on their own or over some lipstick, which is what I have on my face today. I have the new Urban Decay Vice whatever, blah, blah, blah. This one, <laughs> I had this one on. Then I threw the shade Limelight on top of it. Bitch, I'm an alien slut. <laughs> I fucking love it. And I hate that you probably can't really see the shine. It's definitely something that you can see in person. I think on camera, because of my setup, it just looks like I have gloss on, but the sparkle is just so juicy. It's fucking delicious. Something that I don't really typically like in a lip gloss formula, but this is so goddamn comfortable. Let's break it down by shade. Lightscape has a shift from peach to red to gold. Ultraviolet has a shift from mauve to blue to red. X-ray has a shift from blue to pink to gold. Duality has a shift from gold to blue. Limelight has a shift from red to green. Refraction is a clear gloss. These are fucking great, y'all. These are fucking great. Y'all know I do not subscribe to any bullshit, all right? I really do not like glitter in my gloss. They're usually fucking disgusting. They come off incredibly, oh yeah. Oh, they usually come off incredibly gritty, incredibly gritty. It's that hint of green that like, I feel like I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive and I'm ready to take the world by the balls. Okay, that's what I love about this lip gloss. Anyway, the reason why I don't really like glitter and gloss is that it's usually like unnecessarily sticky and gritty and it's kind of like the floor of a porno theater. It's fucking disgusting. But these are so smooth, there's no texture. Everything is just so beautiful. It doesn't bleed into the outer corners. Everything looks just so fucking perfect and juicy and wet and I'm just obsessed. And I like that the shifts are incredibly clear so it definitely brings a boring lipstick a little bit of life. But most importantly, these are not sticky. Nothing is worse than walking around and having your hair flung into your mouth and you're like this. Ugh. <laughs> that is the worst feeling ever of being like, oh God. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that with these. They're comfortable, they're lightweight, and it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. 
And if you are sensitive to smell, rest assured that the light bubblegum scent is not overpowering. It doesn't smell like just toxic chemicals. And honestly, even though I don't have the best sense of smell, if something smells a little bit funky or very, very fragrant, I would smell it and I can't smell a goddamn thing and I love that. Now, if you're a boring basic bitch like me and you just do not fuck with sparkle, you don't subscribe to that, then I recommend getting the clear gloss. The clear gloss is just something that you just throw in your bag, you have it forever. You need a little something extra, this is gonna be your friend right here. If I had to have have a complaint about anything is that the Joe Foot's not my favorite. I think, you know, I've been spoiled lately when thinking about like Joe Foot's for even fucking the Jaclyn Cosmetics Joe Foot for the lip oil. That one's a good one. Or like Dior or Lunar Beauty. They just feel like super comfortable on the lips. The Joe Foot on these, they're just okay. They're on the thin side, which for me, I do have thin little chicken lips. So it's not like it's going to get all over the place, but I kind of wish they were like a little bit fatter. I feel like it would just be able to dispense the product a little bit more easily evenly than these little ones. But honestly, that's kind of like nitpicking here. So I guess that would be my only complaint is that I wish the doe foot was a little bit better. So maybe in the future, they'll upgrade the doe foot. Or maybe it's just a me thing, but it's like, hmm, that's the only thing I would probably change out of these glosses. By no means are they uncomfortable. It's just, I'm spoiled and I just want something fatter. <laughs> I want something like me, <laughs> okay? <sighs> like me. Anyway, I'm really happy that these glosses have a clear base. Some of these shades, for example, like X-Ray, it has like a blue tint to it, but it's not too much. So it doesn't look like you like blew a cartoon character. I feel like the shade X-Ray is kind of perfect for this hot dog summer I'm living, okay? Like I just kind of love that it has like a little bit of like a tint without making it like super like blue. It's just so pretty. I look forward to them releasing more shades in this revamped formula. And I really do hope that they considered making a better doe foot. Or I could just stop being a bitch about it, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, actually, actually, if they could release some lip oils with some color to them, that would be amazing too, just saying, just saying. I absolutely love this collection. I think they have been putting out some really good fucking things this year, from their last multi-chrome batch to this one-up collection. It's just, ugh. I love my babies, okay? Like, they're fucking great. So now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you picked up anything from this collection or if you're gonna be skipping out, let me know because I love hearing from you. And again, I wanna say thank you so much, Lethal, for sending this my way. I truly appreciate it. With that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, actually. Garbage boat afloat, I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just wanna gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. And it'd be a magical time. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, all these beautiful glowy products, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.